artist probes the serenity and calm that underlies the chaos of India. My process is very spontaneous actually, I don't really plan too much. An artist duo from Switzerland challenges how we look at the world around us and how we look at ourselves. The astronaut is an element that we often use in our paintings since years. Because we wanted to play with the idea of, of ownership. Join us as these artists explore the infinity outside and inside with their works at Delhi's Lodi Colony and Tughlaqabad. This week on Color My City. When you actually step inside, it's almost as sacred as a shrine. Christian Rabici and Pablo Tony, who go by Never Crew, hail from Switzerland, where they have made street art together since they were 15 years old. Working with a mix of figurative painting, stencils, and graphical elements, they create large-scale, overwhelming works that strive to escape reality while rooting itself in reality. And their mural at Tughlaqabad's Inland Container Depot does just that. Through their works, they have questioned the one-sidedness of our perspective and aim to reveal what exists in our blind spots. Often, they do so by lending us someone else's point of view. In this case, an astronaut. The astronaut is an element that we often use in our painting since years. And for us, it's, uh, it recalls many things, for example, exploration, then discovering of new things, and also a different point of view, because usually astronauts have a, a different vision of what the Earth is, in a simple way. And in this, in this situation, we did a, a reflection of the real place to connect the, the viewer to the, the painting, and also to involve the viewer in, the, in, in a different point of view. So it's like a mirror, but from a different point of view. together since 20 years and actually their process of working together is always like really fascinating to see because they are kind of printers and they met in the middle so actually they paint like simultaneously which is like something pretty much particular to to see because they really have literally the same hands. Um, Wine and Work Crew like I always like their work like a lot they are able actually to create like um, other kind of like views and um, other kind of perception and this is exactly what they did over here. So this piece is called See Through, See Beyond um, and it represents an astronaut. Never Crew employs the astronaut as a way to hold a mirror up to the viewer, transporting him or her to a place of a different viewpoint. So the astronaut is actually the, um, I mean it embodies like the extreme limit of the progresses that the human being did because we were able to arrive to the moon. Um, but at the same time, because of that, it basically opened to the viewer another kind of perspective. So the viewer can be the astronaut. You can observe whatever happens around from another perspective and you can be the one to arrive to the moon. So actually it's like a sort of positive input to the viewer to say like, hey, I mean, this is like not the only reality that we have. Uh, we have like a lot of things that we are able to do and, and this is like the astronaut all about. So he's a sort of observer that actually like grab at a first glance the entire universe, the entire globe and uh, that's also the reason why actually they painted in the helmet of the, of the astronaut um, the entire exhibition. So basically over here you have like all the containers and over here you have the pole light which is actually the pole light that is like just in front of me. And this was like actually a way for them to freeze uh, the, the, the time and the space over here. This one especially uh, has caught my attention because it brings the idea of uh, space travel and uh, one going out and in search of new, uh, new uh, spaces, new uh, planets, new discoveries. It's a 
एस्ट्रोनॉट होता है जो स्पेस में जाता है एंड ही इज फ्री इन दी इन दैट एटमोसफेयर I'm from Switzerland, so I really preferred the one from uh, Never Crew, the first one to enter. So the big astronaut, I think it's a good, good way to start the whole exhibition. The astronaut is so well executed; it, it grabs your eye and you keep sort of coming back to it. Especially when you think about the fact that it reflects that um, piece over here, the the, the floodlight. So that I think is a very interesting uh, touch, but I think it's it's uh, arresting. Across town at Lodi Colony, a multidisciplinary artist is making a mural that aims to hold the passers-by still. Meet Harsh Raman. Harsh Raman draws inspiration for his piece from the different generations of Lodi Colony and the energy they foster. So I came here and I was like greeted by these bunch of really naughty, energetic kids, and they were playing around, fooling around, and I really like loved their energy. Um, before I knew it, they had kind of welcomed me in their group, and I was playing with them. So I wanted to do something that kind of uh, resonated uh, the same kind of energy, and uh, then I met a couple of people who were actually here from Kerala, and they told me that uh, um, there are a lot of South Indians um, that actually live here, and a lot of them actually coming from Kerala, and uh, so I thought that uh, that's an interesting idea. So I thought that why not uh, bring Kerala to Delhi, and that's how the Kathakali came in. And uh, the Kathakali is full of these vibrant colors, and uh, yeah, and all these games. So it has that childlike, youthful energy in it, and it has that uh, cultural resonance of it being um, from Kerala. So yeah, we just fused both of them together and came up with the wall. He takes the joy, drama, and color of Kathakali, but brings in his signature style: a pop art vibe, cheeky design, and an explosion of vibrancy. So one of the things that I really like about Kathakali, like Kathakali, the literal meaning is the art of storytelling. And uh, in Kathakali, they talk about some really crazy stories, but it's all communicated without words. And in a way, that's also true for street art. Whereas in a lot of deep um, concepts are conveyed to the public and without the use of words. So I like that uh, that whole idea. And uh, yeah, and that's how we just basically put it together. My process is very spontaneous. Actually, I don't really uh, plan too much before I actually um, paint a wall. Um, I let it subconsciously happen. Uh, I let the space kind of talk to me. And tell me what it needs. Attributing his initiation towards streets to the esoteric consumption of art, Harsh creates works that engage the community. One of the reasons why I got really attracted towards street art was uh, the whole community angle towards it. Um, I think that art is something that should not be restricted for some intellectuals or. Um, people who can actually afford to purchase it um it is something that's a very essential part of the human evolution so to say and it should be something that should be available for everyone and uh, wherever i go whenever i paint um if the theme or the concept of the wall allows me to do so and if there is availability of people who uh, want to participate because uh, um they get really excited when they see someone working out in the public and doing a good job of it and uh, yeah so with this wall uh, basically i think that i have hardly painted um so i all of my friends who are like kids who are from 6 to 12 years old um they've helped me paint the wall just put some blue here put a little bit of black after this you put the tree tree ke baad you do the darker line dekho kaun sa color chahiye mere ko bhi mujhe pink jo bhi banana hai वो काले काले के अंदर ही बनाना है ठीक है द ड्रेस ऑफ द कैरेक्टर्स दैट आई हैव पेंटेड इज एक्चुअली मेड आउट ऑफ ब्लैक बोर्ड पेंट 
So what we've done is that we painted it and then we kind of let the kids come in and join us and finish the piece. And it was so much fun uh, because it's always fascinating to see the kind of creativity that these kids bring with them. And also it's great because these kids now feel that the wall is theirs and which is true. So they're going to take care of it and they can going to come and it's going to play as a stress release, it's going to play as something which fuels their creativity and, and it's beautiful. I mean, even after I'm gone, the art will still keep getting created, um, which, is, which is, I think, what the festival is all about. Blending influences from Bollywood, comic books and religious iconography, his work is kitschy and eye-catching. I think a lot of pieces that I do, even if they do have some connotation of religion, the direction is always put in such a way that, that it's open for everyone, you know. Um, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not exclusive. Um, it's, it's more of, it's, it's for everyone. And be it, be it film and cinema, and I like to put in some humor. So I, I really don't know where all of this comes from, but I think that the final result is something that people can understand, they can relate to, it's not absolutely alien. So by using these tools, it just becomes easier for you to communicate to your audience, which is a religious, film-going, um, superly comical and strange and weird, but still fascinating and beautiful. I mean, that's the country we live in. You want to get people to think. I mean, in your day-to-day -day rundown lives, you hardly have time for any free thinking. But you're walking down the street and suddenly you're greeted by this beautiful, vibrant piece of art which might make some sense or which might be absolute gibberish, but what is it about? I mean, so that kind of triggers your imagination. One of the things that street art also teaches you, it teaches you how to let go. Because even though you're going to put in a lot of effort in painting a wall, but once you've done it, it's not yours anymore, you know, it belongs to the street and you have to let go. So I like that idea of, you know, putting something into your surroundings and putting something um, into the streets and then letting people react to it. <laughs> Developing a companion piece to their work at ICD, the Swiss artist pair continues to explore themes of human exploration and perspectives at Lothi Colony, juxtaposing the surreal work with its real surroundings. This is day one and we started with a sketch. We will put our grid on the wall and lines and maybe a little bit of white. Once we see the, the wall here in the Lodi colony, we decided to do something uh, with, with the, using this sort of window uh, through realities. So we use uh, the astronaut that for us is an observer, an, an explorator, someone that, that discovers things, that look at things in a different way. So uh, something that for us is connected with uh, an empathic mirror. I mean, you look at the astronaut, you feel observed, but you also feel as you are the astronaut and you look at the things that you have around, as they are new, as you are discovering them. Here, the asteroid acts as a prism, a metaphor for the way our perspective widens when we assume someone else's point of view. We decided to do this asteroid, that it's a sort of unusual land because we wanted to play with the idea of 
of ownership, but also of alien position into a place. And this is always connected also to the idea of the two realities or more realities connected to the same moment. This is day three, it's five and a half p.m. We finished the gray part. Now we have four more color lines to finish and we are in time. Working here was, was extremely interesting. We discovered a new thing. It was surprising, beautiful and very intense. We really enjoyed to be here. A lot of nice people in the organization, a lot of help. And so we, we, we will leave uh, India and Delhi with, uh, with new, new feelings. And uh, we, are, we, we hope to come back. You get to know the astronaut from a close up at OPA and then you come here you get to see kind of his story and yeah it's good to see the astronaut in his uh, in his home This picture shows like a man can go to many different places and even on even in space like what we are doing right now. Like yeah, people not are going by to, limits now, that's yeah. the basic idea. Harsh Raman created just one subject at ICD, someone who represents the place where mind, body, and soul convene. But this is not your typical yogi. I think that Delhi, um, in general, or I think I can say this for India, having been traveled a lot, is that it's very chaotic and crazy on the outside, like when you come to India. And, uh, but once you live here, you do tend to realize that there is a very calm, deep, serene center inside most of the people who are here. So my piece kind of talks about this, whereas in it's spreading good vibes on the outside and it's larger than life and it's full of color. But when you actually step inside, it's almost as sacred as a shrine. And it's where you can kind of anchor your energy and you can basically figure out what you want to do. So I like this duality. So I think people who live in Delhi have this dual nature where you might be stuck in hideous traffic um, but you're still deep down, you're kind of calm. Harsh Rahman is one of India's street art pioneers. He has painted close to 50 walls over the last eight years. I'm someone who firmly believes that uh, you, that a person is not merely a product of your surroundings. In fact, you can have an impact on the surroundings and your surroundings should be a product of you. So, being coming from Delhi, um, I think that Delhi is kind of ingrained in me, you know, it's etched in me. Um, you can't separate Delhi from the Delhi boy. But with more and more street art interventions that I do, I try and change the city that I live in and try to make it the city that I want to live in. So it's more about me having an influence on the surroundings rather than the surroundings having an influence on me. Sadhus are the coolest persons in India because uh, they can do whatever they want to do. They are wanderers, they do not live at one place. Harsh Raman gives me a feeling of, uh, I guess, spirituality gone high. Because street art is all about traffic stopping work, I think the colours, the imagery in this, the manner in which perhaps uh, you have an interpretation of a certain law due to peace sign, uh, I think this really is very witty, very traffic stopping and very true to the essence of street art. <laughs> 